Hello everyone, welcome back to the Bullet Wealth channel where we take complex financial topics and break them down into hopefully some educational content that is entertaining for you. Today we're going to be delving into the world of mutual funds, index funds, and ETFs. So whether you're a seasoned investor or just starting out, understanding these options are crucial for building a robust investment portfolio. Let's kick things off with mutual funds. At their core, mutual funds are investment vehicles that pool money from various investors to purchase a diversified portfolio of stocks, bonds, and other securities. Uh, the idea is simple, guys. By combining resources, investors are able to access a diversified portfolio managed by professional fund managers. Now, the management style of mutual funds varies. Actively managed funds involve fund managers making investment decisions to outperform the market. However, this active management does come at a cost, and that's where the fees come into play, guys. Mutual funds typically charge higher fees compared to index funds and ETFs, including an expense ratio, which covers the fund's operating expenses. Investors need to be mindful of these fees, as they can impact overall returns over time. Guys, if this sounds familiar to you, and you think you may be seeing a reduction in return from some of your mutual fund fees, maybe now would be a good time to check your portfolio and see what mutual funds you're invested in and exactly what your overall expense ratio is in your portfolio. Next up, we're gonna talk about index funds. Uh, index funds are a specific type of mutual fund designed to mirror the performance of a particular market index. Uh, think like the S&P 500. These funds offer a more passive approach to investing aiming to match the market rather than beat it. The key advantage of index funds really is just the lower fees compared to actively managed mutual funds. Since they don't require intensive management, index funds generally have lower expense ratios. This cost efficiency is appealing to many investors looking for a long-term, low-cost investment strategy. Index funds provide investors with broad market exposure, making them an excellent choice for those seeking a hands-off approach to investing. However, it's essential to note that investors won't outperform the market with index funds, rather they'll just closely track its performance. Now, let's shift our focus to ETFs, or exchange-traded funds. ETFs share similarities with both mutual funds and stocks, offering the diversification of mutual funds and the tradability of individual stocks. Now, ETFs trade on stock exchanges, just like stocks, and their prices fluctuate throughout the trading day. This real-time pricing allows investors to buy and sell ETF shares at market prices during market hours. Additionally, ETFs have lower expense ratios compared to actively managed mutual funds. Similar to index funds, many ETFs passively track specific market indices. However, there are also actively managed ETFs that employ strategies to outperform the market. The versatility of ETFs makes them a really popular choice for a variety of investment goals and different trading strategies. Okay, so now that we've covered the basics of mutual funds, index funds, and ETFs, let's highlight the key differences and important considerations. While mutual funds and ETFs can be actively or passively managed, the primary distinction lies in their structure and how they're traded. Mutual funds are bought and sold through the fund company at the end of the trading day at its net asset value price. Meanwhile, ETFs are traded on the stock exchange at market prices throughout the day. When it comes to fees, mutual funds, especially actively managed ones, tend to have higher expense ratios compared to index funds and ETFs. The cost difference may impact long-term returns, making it crucial for investors to carefully evaluate their investment strategy and their risk tolerance. And there you have it, a comprehensive breakdown of mutual funds, index funds, and ETFs. And remember, the best choice for you depends on your investment goals, risk tolerance, and preferences. Whether you prefer the active management of mutual funds, the passivity of index funds, or the overall flexibility of ETFs, understanding these investment vehicles is a crucial step towards building a successful and diversified portfolio. If you found this information valuable, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and ring that bell for more in-depth financial insights. Until next time, guys, have a great week.